Today's topic is the importance of good quality writing in marketing. Welcome to the Marketing Hub. And I'm delighted to say today we have Stephen Flanagan from Talent Attract here to talk to us about this topic. Hi, Stephen. How are you doing, Paul? Thanks for having us on. Stephen, great to have you on. So, um, so how important is good quality writing in marketing? Like if I have a nice video or a bit of imagery or some content, surely as long as I get the grammar correct, it's okay. Well, if we were to use that argument, Paul, that would mean that if somebody had their grammar right in a great album or a great novel um, or, uh, you know, the script of, of a great movie, then that, that's what makes it great. But we, we know that that's not the case. You know, it's, it's creative writing. And I would argue that there is creative writing with, within marketing. And that's because we use marketing to sell. And mm -hmm. on a lot of occasions, it has to be emotional. Um, mm -hmm. But equally, on all occasions, it needs to be clear, concise, and effective. And that's never been more important than within the last 20 months. You know, if you take the, the governments from around the world, they've all been running marketing campaigns, instructing us and informing us on how to deal with the global pandemic. Yeah, um, uh, that's, that's uh, very obvious, actually, because you can see that some governments were, were getting it right and some weren't, and they were learning from each other. Um, so uh, what got you involved with this type of writing? Well, I did a marketing course when I finished school. And at that stage, I just knew that marketing was the career that, that, that I wanted. And I've mm -hmm. been lucky enough over the years that I've worked across a wide range of industries for large companies and small companies. Uh, and it's allowed me to get very hands-on with the marketing, including writing. Uh, so for example, even back in 1999, uh, I, I was writing copy for websites uh, and for uh, email marketing as well. So then in 2004, uh, I had a light bulb moment. I was working for the direct marketing department of Ulster Bank. And I realized at that stage to be an effective marketer, my writing had to be the best that it possibly could be. Uh, so I did a course in copywriting. And up until that point, you could say, you know, I had an idea that if you're writing a direct mail letter, to about mortgages to a 35 year old versus putting copy on a website that's attracting 15 year olds around video games, the content would be different. But what this course allowed me to do was be able to look at how different it could be across various target markets, across various channels uh, and looking at tone and style. So it really was a game changer for me and helped me with the rest of my marketing career to date including in the last five years where I've been running my own business within the recruitment space. Uh, as you said, the start's called Talent Attract. It's around recruitment marketing. And as part of that, I write a lot of job advertisements. That's great, Stephen. And, and I believe you have four points for us that people should consider when writing content for marketing. That's correct. So number one, Paul, we should always think about the recipient of our communication. I mean, yes, within marketing, we talk about target markets, but we should actually try and visualize somebody and actually write for them. Then number two is what is the message that we're trying to convey to the recipient? We need to consider, is it that, we're, that we are informing them, persuading them, or entertaining them? And if we're not doing any of those, then we're not achieving our goal. Number three brings it back to what I was chatting about earlier, which is it has to be as concise as possible because people's attention spans, including ourselves, has got less and less over the years. And finally, number four brings it back to your first question. So when we are writing, we have to be absolutely 100% sure that the work is grammatically correct and that there's no mistakes in it. So we need to proofread. And what I would say is if you can get somebody else to look at your work and proofread it for you, it's so much better. 
That they're they really good points, Stephen. A lot of them I would talk about in video production as well. And also on social media posts, it's the worst thing ever to see a really good post and a grammatical error on it because it, you just fixate on it. So they're, they're fantastic points. Uh, so Stephen, uh, I know you're actually running, uh, giving a course on content uh, writing for marketing. Could you tell us about that? Yeah, Paul, just by pure coincidence, um, the, the course starts next Thursday, Thursday the 18th. So it's run through UCD's Professional Academy. Uh, mm -hmm. It's part of the, the marketing group of courses, and it's called Content Writing for Marketing. It runs from half six to half nine for 12 weeks. Uh, and if people are still, if people are interested, uh, you can go on, look at the website, uh, and look for Content Writing for Marketing. Uh, and sign up before Thursday. I'd love to have you. Okay. And like having worked with you, Stephen, I know I know your dedication to quality writing. So like I, I would I would give 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 my my recommendation on that. And Stephen, just before we go, uh, if people want to get in contact with you or view your website, can you just give us the details there? Yeah, sure. So the website is talentattract.ie. Uh, my email address is Stephen with a PH at talentattract.ie. That's great, Stephen. Thanks for coming on today. Pleasure. Thanks for having me, Paul. Appreciate it.